So, I mean, check it out. It looks... All right, guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, let's get a cold start. Uh, as you see me right now, I'm just kind of washing uh, the car really quick, the charger. By the way, the charger. Um, so that's what I'm basically doing right now. <laughs> Don't mind that. Uh, so this basically right now, it's not bolted on fully because i was getting after something uh trying to make sure everything was connected with the radiator uh but everything's good to go so i just need to uh put the bolts back on here uh but anyways let me show you guys really quick what uh so on this car it has been polished and waxed um i do have a pressure washer by the way but i just don't feel like taking it out you know and then having to put it back in all together and all that stuff so anyway so for this car i used the meguiar's uh wax and i did do the compound and polish on this car I'm just kind of like quick but then i had washed it off uh with some dawn soap and all that i just didn't show the process but maybe i'll show it next time so i on this car i used uh seal and shine and from turtle wax and hold on let me get the other name of the other product <clears throat> and also the turtle wax uh, ice ice spray wax so so basically what i did oh and then i got them with the improved formula so the old one doesn't have this little yellow strip that says improved formula the new formula does um just because uh it does say that it put uh it has like uv protection i think i'm not sure something like that but anyways guys uh, i mean you can kind of see how it, it actually works you know like it's it's beating the water all that good stuff let me show you guys here it does a pretty good job and then here on the side you guys could see that pretty good i mean it and it's sheeting the water actually so that's that's really good it sheeted most of the water only some some water is left uh so basically what i did was a uh, step by step i did the sit shine and then this ice wax um and you know just applied it with the uh, microfiber towel and then buffed it off with another microfiber microfiber towel and basically it gives you a pretty good protection so it makes washes easier like right now i mean i just i already threw all i already took off all basically all the dirt from the car i'm doing this because uh, you can feel when there's dirt and when there's not and it's just like so uh easy to kind of wipe your hand through there now i don't think i'm like really wiping it but i mean you can tell when the paint has contaminants and when it does and when it doesn't so basically what i did with this car was i did clean the car not all at once because i there's no time for me but yeah guys check it out so um it is really it works pretty nice and basically you could just try it off right now i'm not even gonna wash the car it's kind of no point i was just kind of spraying it down and then i'm gonna i'm going to dry it down and of course i don't just dry it down i do use a a washless wax so what i'm going to do is i have two washless waxes and i would like to make a video uh in the future i'm not sure when but i'm going to compare both of them and see how they do uh so I'm, I'm also going to be comparing products in this in this uh channel so you know stay tuned for that as well uh just because you know i like products at work um especially when it comes to like detailing and stuff like that or when it comes to you buying something to you know ceramic coat or whatever you want to call it you know or whatever it is that you're trying to do basically i'll, I'll be doing that pretty soon here uh, you could see how it has dirt over there see how the dirt is right there um, i'm just gonna spray it down and dirt should be right off then i can use the waterless wa uh, wash spray and with the microfiber towel just dry it off now i'm doing that because the car has already been clayed it's already been clayed 
it's already been uh coated and so i'm gonna show you guys eventually in another video as well what i use every everything that i, I use to coat this car and it works pretty good i mean as long as you do your maintenance washes and rinse off and all that good stuff you should be good now when it rains there's always going to be the issue where it and all that good stuff and then uh the purpose of this video is just to kind of show the seal and shine and the ice wax in action it's pretty good this right here check it out very simple to to dry down um very very simple to dry there's still some streaks and i'll go over it but you know i mean the product i think works phenomenally well for the price given i think that the bottles each come out to about maybe 20 dollars or something like that a little over uh but not over like 24 maybe um i know the seal and shine is nine dollars 9.99 so it comes out to about 10 something and i think the ice wax is about the same price so I mean, not a bad product if you ask me to kind of get your, give your car a protective coating and it's pretty good. It's pretty good, I think. So guys, you can see there, I uh, got the car and plastic dipped the wheels. Now, don't mind that. Uh, I have it off for a reason, uh, but... <clears throat> So yeah, I plastic dip the wheels. I know a lot of people don't like plastic dip. Now I understand a lot of people have various reasons. I have had an actual okay experience with plastic dip. So therefore, um, I just kind of wanted to change the appearance on the wheels due to them being a little beat up. And that was just, I don't know. I had like little cracks and everything all over the, all over the face of the rim. And so I decided to just plastic dip. Easiest way, cheapest way. I already had the dip there, so you know, why not? Now I didn't sand them down or anything like that. So I just sprayed over them, you know, uh, and I could have done a better job, better prepping, but you know, it's just kind of like, a, let me let me hurry up and do it. Um, just kind of want to see how the car looks. I think it looks decent. Um, the color is pretty cool. <laughs> so why not so i mean check it out it looks i think it looks decent it looks pretty good so let's see it looks pretty cool now will i get wheels for this car i'm not sure yet um just kind of taking it day by day uh, and i have some plans for the car would be very cool if i could execute them um but it's just gonna come down honestly to money and time so uh, other than that, you know, uh, for right now, it's kind of like my daily. So, um, and, you know, she's been good. She, the car does okay. Actually gets better gas mileage than this one. Um, so, yeah. So, there's the, the Stang getting ready. So, um, anyways, let me know what you guys think about the Seal and Shine. I think it's a pretty awesome product. Other than that. Let me know what you guys think of the products and comment down below which is your favorite product to to uh to use you know as somewhat of a ceramic coating it's not a ceramic coating but it kind of it kind of helps out does it does bead water and sheet water so uh, i do have some videos coming up on that as well so stay tuned for that and some product testing because mind you, I, got, I have the front bumper of this car, so it would be pretty cool to test them out. I'll do some actual tests. On this car, I was testing out the seal and shine and the ice wax because <clears throat> it's out in the elements. So that's what most people have. Not everybody has a garage. Not everybody has a carport. And so that's what I was, I've been testing out on this car. So far, so good. It's It's been promising. Uh, the seal and shine and the ice wax. So the ice spray and wax, sorry. And so, yeah, it's it's been it's been phenomenal. I'm gonna oh, go ahead and open this uh, Nothing Sense Auto Package, and you, this was this is a scent that I some scents I'm sorry that I get uh, monthly from them. So, got them here. So here we go. So guys, as you know, uh, 
Monday, I'm, I'm usually going to reserve it to kind of let everybody know uh, where the channel is at, depending on. If there's something else that comes up, then I'll do another video about something. But uh, anyways, so what we got going on right now is uh, just waiting on that uh, piece for the fuel. I think it should be here tomorrow. So hopefully we'll be doing that video as well and get an install video on that uh, for you guys. So guys, as you know, uh, Monday, I'm, I'm usually going to reserve it to kind of let everybody know uh, where the channel is at, depending on if there's something else that comes up, then I'll do another video about something. But uh, anyways, so what we got going on right now is uh, just waiting on that uh, piece for the fuel. I think it should be here tomorrow. So hopefully we'll be doing that video as well and get an install video on that. Uh, for you guys uh, give you guys a little bit of my plans with this charger now mind you this charger is a dodge charger rt it's an 06 and it is a uh it is rt hemi right so i'm i'm thinking my plans for this car is to do an na build uh i you know i just want to kind of want to see what, what it what it can do and stuff like that now it does need a few things here and there I know for sure a major thing that it's going to need is uh, having to do with the suspension, but that'll be for another video. And uh, the solenoids, because they are bad uh, on this car. Um, that's what it's. Uh, that's the code that it's giving me on the on the tool scanner. Uh, I took it to O'Reilly's, and that's the reason why it still has a check engine light. Other than that, the car is running good. Uh, it doesn't have any issues. Amazingly, the AC still works, the heater still works, the radio still works. All the speakers are in working condition. And guys, as for the Mustang, I do have some great content coming up with it. So stay tuned with that. Uh, as, as you guys know, for the newer people on my channel, the Mustang is a pro-charged V6 motor, 3.7 motor. It, it put down some good power. Um, we did add some other stuff, so it should be a little faster. And it should be putting out more than 500 horsepower but i'm not i'm not going to give details or, or whatever but hopefully right that's that's the that's the hope when you start modding cars but sometimes you won't get enough horsepower per the for the mod that you put in so with that being said guys uh the mustang i i, I am hoping to take it to the track pretty soon because I, I just need to do it uh before i take it to another level to the to the following level so uh i want to take it to the track i honestly don't care if i lose or whatever because i'm not a track person I, I don't dedicate myself to the track so uh there, uh, there's gonna be some hiccups some learning curves and i don't mind sharing that with you guys you know uh, that's that's not a problem uh but i do like to learn things quickly and 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 i do try to learn stuff um but you see the thing is it's it's not my main like uh focus so uh you know it's, it's gonna take some time to get the hang of it and all that stuff but i do plan to take the car out to the track now i know it's gonna sound weird but I, I have been really lazy to get to the track with the car. I know some people are waiting to see some track times, you know, some actual uh, time slips. Um, because at the end of the day, you can have all that horsepower, but it doesn't literally translate to the, the, the slips. But anyways, we're going to take the car to the track pretty soon. I have another, I have something else coming up too this, this uh, weekend. So stay tuned for that, guys. You don't want to miss it. Other than that, uh, news with the Explorer. The Explorer is having another issue, and I think it has to do with another uh, miss uh, with the misfire. And I'm assuming it's. Just, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the whole um, uh, tune up on the truck, so that way we can just get all that over with. Uh, so that's another video in itself coming up. Uh, I included the Explorer because it's so funny, but actually, my Explorer one of the Explorer videos is the one that has most of the views which is awkward, uh, but you know, <laughs> that's kind of sad. You know, that's not even the main channel vehicle and it's 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 the one with the most views. But anyway, um, comment down below guys, what you would like for, what would you would like to see from this channel moving forward? Try to, you know, do different videos, uh, kind of, I'm kind of trying to a variety content for you guys. That way it's not, it doesn't only focus on the, the, the youth, but it also focuses on, on people my age and older. Um, you know, because sometimes it is interesting to find out uh, uh, products that can work for you or that you can find use out of them. So stay tuned for that as well. We'll have a, we have a lot of stuff coming up on the channel. Getting more content 
on this channel as well and uh thank you guys for the support you know and also just one more thing if you guys can hit the bell button i would really appreciate a i would really appreciate it the notification button i have about five thousand some subscribers but i think like very little are 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 on the notifications so please guys hit the notification bell button uh and with that being said guys i hope y'all have a good night thank you for stopping by real quick this is just a quick update quick recap or whatever you want to call it thank y'all hit the like hit the like subscribe uh hit the notification bell button guys that will really help out we also, also have another little thing coming up but I'm, I'm not gonna say anything yet but anyways thank you guys for tuning in and don't forget to share the video as well thank you guys see you next time